Welcome back to Clutch Sports Media 365 Digital Sports News and Podcasts with your host, Jay The Perspective. We are Clutch Sports Media 365, bringing you the latest Clutch NFL updates and headlines from around the leagues. Thanks for tuning in to our podcast. You can also follow us on Twitter at Clutch SM. All capital 365. Now, on to the episode. Clutch off-season NFL updates. Ladies and gentlemen, where do we begin? First, let's go ahead and send out some prayers to the families of Jalen Twyman, rookie for Minnesota Vikings, um, was shot four times. While visiting an aunt in Washington, D.C. And his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, came out and said that it was a wrong place, wrong time situation. So it wasn't anything that was linked to off-season issues or however you want to put it, like, it just wasn't something contrary to what we know the story to be. So, um, let's go ahead and give this man a round of applause. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's not funny, but it's, you know, we're going to go ahead this now. Because, I mean, uh, hopefully he makes a speedy recovery and just back, you know, up. And this would be a turning point. For this whole situation, that community, for him, for teams, and also that it would rally the troops. Also, another news today. Oh, I hate to bring out this news, but. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, lightning has struck. Kansas City Chiefs, pass rusher. Mm mm. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, you we shouldn't. I, not like I'm not gonna say the name, but you know, it just was. Wow. Okay. Frank Clark was arrested and charged with felony possession of a concealed firearm. What makes this interesting is that when I heard this story initially today, um. This guy was caught in a Lambo truck with an Uzi in the back that was visible for the officer to see which question was going on and led to their arrest. I'm watching Pat McAfee. Shout out to the Pat McAfee show, you know, bus come through clutch. But Ian Rappaport was on and he reported about our first initial uh, headline with the shooting of the Minnesota Vikings rookie at the on house. And then he went on to talk about Frank Clark. Now, along with Frank Clark, a few months back, if you remember, there was a Marshawn Lattimore hometown native to Cleveland was out with his people. Tail light issue gets pulled over by the cops. There's a stolen firearm in the vehicle. Now, I was hesitant to even comment or respond about this story because it was like, what were you thinking when you got in a vehicle and knew that there was firearms in here? And it's four of y'all riding around the city doing what? Okay. But it is a contract year for the New Orleans Saints cornerback, Marshawn Lattimore, who has his off-the-season off-field issues. So we'll wait to see about that. But the Frank Clark incident was one that jumped out because it was like, wait a minute, didn't this guy just get arrested for something else? Stay tuned. We'll figure that out. However, 
as of this evening's clutch breaker, rookie linebacker drafted by Arizona Cardinals, Zayvon Collins, gets arrested. Speeding in a 35. Now, that is some rookie shit. Okay. I'd rather have you snapping pictures of me with some rookie shit than to have you out here getting caught up with firearms in the car and all this other stuff that's going on. Like, it's... Sorry, guys. It's just too much. All right. Now, let's get to the point. NFL Summer Break. NFL takes break after many camps and OTAs. So, we're now in the breaking news. Only part of the NFL. Henceforth, I brought you the top latest news stories. Because, I mean, Sunday was Father's Day. We had a good Father's Day. Um... My father, the headlines was on um, my receiver, Buffalo Bills, Cole Beasley, on his COVID vaccine, anti-COVID vaccine. What? Why? Why me? I mean, there's enough people that are out here suffering, dealing with issues, anxieties, all kind of stuff that happens due to COVID-19. And I'm not taking nothing away from Colt, but isn't that the time to be coming out talking about your sentiments about the anti vac about look the NFL made a rule they're sticking to the guns. If you want to continue to play, then you either get the vaccine or you either you know move on to another avenue or profession because, I mean, this is one of those things where, like, wait, now, as of late, he's doubled down on the rumors. Okay, well, maybe I'm maybe I'm bail. Listen, if you ever had a bad case of karma is a bitch, Maybe I'm barely struck it. It's not been the same since you bullied your way up out of the Pittsburgh situation. Went to the Jets situation, think you was the savior, and just collected a check. And then get a chance to go and get linked up with the Kansas City Chiefs. You were in the best position to win a ring. Comes out and he doesn't like the way Andy Reid has talked to him. He feels disrespected. And this is the NFL. We have an Aaron Rodgers situation that's dealing with respect. And I don't feel appreciated. We had a Tom Brady situation when he had free agency. And he has come out recently and said, hey, the team that snubbed me, you, Brady's just giving us some great content. However, the Le'Veon Bell thing, I mean, come on, Le'Veon. I mean, what do you expect? You know, like, come on, like, seriously. All right. Um, it wouldn't be right if we didn't bring this up in the podcast, but I just know that I hate to bring it up. So, you hear the bell? It's Aaron Rodgers' time talk. Okay. Aaron Rodgers comes out and he says, hey. Um, bum, 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 bum. Because that's what it sounded like. It didn't sound like, hey, I'm not going back to Green Bay. Um, I wish they would trade me. Um, I requested a trade. No, it didn't. It's the T-shirt that he wore that got everybody's attention. See, Aaron Rodgers is doing this. I'm dropping breadcrumbs. Ever since the NFC 
championship game where he lost. He's been dropping them breadcrumbs. And if you ain't paid attention, he's controlling the narrative of what we get. Green Bay is all gun ho and happy, jolly. Hey, we're not giving up on Aaron. He's our quarterback. We want him here. They didn't find him a 93K. He's gone on Kenny Mann interview, and he talked about philosophy. He talked about the people, and when you disrespect the people, and we do it for the people, and Aaron is just on this. I'm not buying into the rhetoric. So Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are still at this standstill. So now the business side of the Packers decides to come out and say there's a divide because of Aaron Rodgers and this. And then they say, wait, hold up. He's a complicated fellow. So Aaron, who plays Tom Brady July the 6th in a golf tourney, who teamed up with DeChambeau and Brady Wood, Phil Mickelson, they have now controlled the media off-season NFL news. Period. Aaron dropped the t-shirt. It's complicated. Now, is it really that complicated? We're talking elite. This is what has the Green Bay Packer news so intriguing because when you kind of compare this to the Brett Favre 16 years, Brett Favre was on his way out. Aaron Rodgers just won the MVP and watched Tom Brady come into his house, beat him, and go on to win the Super Bowl. And you don't stack the offense so that this man can go and bring it home? So Aaron Rodgers, in his own right, is out. He's packed up and ready to roll. We would have never known about Denver being a possible landing spot. And not only that, the speculation all points to hope he returns or maybe he will Well, guess what? They offered him money. They've made trips to see him. And still to no avail, Aaron Rodgers is relaxing. He's just said it. I'm not worrying about that. He sounds like vacation. This vacation Rodgers, bro. Like, he's relaxed. So, shout out to my man Aaron Rodgers for just taking over the NFL offseason 21. I mean, just took it over and now Brady's right down your heels um so don't forget that all right that'll be our first seg all right stay tuned because we're coming back because we have to talk about this man Tom Brady with the antics that he didn't pull it off like time not here cutting up but thank y'all again for tuning in to Clutch Sports Media 365 digital sports news and podcast with your host Jada Perspective we're out of here.